Hi guys and welcome back to another video here on the channel. So if you're new here, my name's Sean and this is Echo and that is Storm and they're my sheepdogs. And today we're going to be moving a lot of sheep. So guys, you'll see the lambs just behind me here. These are the ones we're moving today. We've got quite a little distance to go with them. They were down there on that sort of fodder crop and they've done very well on it. You can see they're in great condition, but it's pretty bare now. They were also getting a drop of silage. So we've just been waiting till they finish up their silage to get them moved. And they're up here thinking I'm going to feed them right now, but we're just going to get the dogs out random. Then we've got to take them across this field, across the next field and to the third furthest away field and over there they'll have two fields of nice fresh grass and that'll keep them in good condition and then after february they'll then be moved again across the road and you can see it's pretty cold here today guys but so me and the dogs we're gonna get going and get ourselves nice and hit up well look away Walk on Echo, walk on! Shh. Walk on, walk on! Shh, 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 shh. Come by Storm! Come by, come by! Steady, steady, lie down. There's always lambs going behind the gate. Here, here, Ek. Lie down, Ek.
come by. Steady, steady. Okay guys, so I'm just going to leave the sheep there in the middle of that field. We're going to open this gate into the field where they're going. So they actually have this field in the next field. So I'll have to nip over once we get them in and open it up the next field as well. Because they're actually getting both fields. So normally they would go from there right across the road. <coughs> but it's just a bit too early to take them right across the road and to the other fields where they'll stay all summer. Uh, so they'll probably do between four to six weeks in these fields. Watch your bum. Also guys, I want to mention as well, when we're working outside in Scotland, Scotland can get pretty rough in the winter, it can get pretty wet, it can get pretty cold. So it's super important that we are wearing appropriate clothing. And you'll see right now I'm wearing Ridgeline of New Zealand. They are one of the best brands for outdoor clothing in the world today. So you see I've got my Ridgeline jacket on. Hold on. See I've got my Ridgeline overalls on keeping me nice warm and dry and if you're considering getting yourself some nice outdoor clothing some high quality outdoor gear head over to ridgeline and give that a check out and please guys if you're gonna head over and have a look use the link in this video to go there and that'll tell you that uh, that'll tell them that i sent you and if we get our numbers up and uh, they see a lot of progress going with this promotion we can do further promotions and we may even get some promo codes to get you guys some discount on some stuff so please do use that link in the description to tell them that i sent you there Owie. Steady. Walk on, get him up. Walk on Stormy, get him up, get him up, get him up. Come by. Here, hey, come by. Ah, right. come by. Good boy. Here, here. Come by. No way, no way. Come by. Good boy. Here, here, here. Love, love. Good girl, Stormy. Walk on, walk on. Good. 
good dog. Walk on. Come by, Ek. Good boy. Come by. Steady. Come by, Ek. Whistle. A whistle. A whistle. Good girl. Come by. Come by, Echo. Come by, come by. Walk on, walk on. Good dogs. Good dogs. Well done, Echo. Good boy. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Okay, guys. So that's those lambs. So they're ewe lambs, by the way, which means female lambs. Now, because it's past the 1st of January, what we would actually refer to them as is ewe hogs. So from the 1st of January, lambs become hogs, then hogs become gimmers, and gimmers become ewes. Who's a good dog? Who's a good dog? Oh, what happened here? You? you scuffed your eye? Oh dear. Oh dear, Echo. What's happened? What's happened? Let me see. He's cut his eye there. Don't meet. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. I know. So guys, Echo's got a little cut in his eye. Well, just below his eye. Nothing major. It just looks like a scuff mark. Like he's maybe scuffed the ground or done something. You can see he's not bothered about it. He's rolling all over my GoPro right now. Oh well, that'll be the GoPro covered in dirt again. That's why we use a GoPro action camera because they're pretty tough. And this is the kind of thing the dogs put them through. Anyway guys, I'm gonna head off, open the other gate to the other field so that they have the run of both fields. Uh, and then we're going back this way to check some ewes. But that'll do it from us today guys. And thank you very much for watching.